Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the video series on topical past paper questions of all level physics 5054. In this video, we will discuss past paper questions from paper 1 of 2019 and 2020 related to the topic refraction of light and total internal reflection. Before I start, I would like to suggest you that to get most out of this video, you should first try to solve the question yourself. See the question on your screen, pause the video and try to solve the question. After you are done, resume the video and see whether your approach is right or wrong. So first question I have is question number 26 from May June 2020. Paper 1, Variant 1. Light enters a glass block at an angle of incidence I and it produces an angle of refraction R in the glass. Several different values of I and R are measured and a graph is drawn of sine of I against sine of R. Which graph is correct? So here are four graphs. Please pause the video and think which will be the right answer. Okay, gee. So, this is a refraction and we know that according to the law of refraction, sine of i over sine of r is a constant. Now when sine of i over sine of r is a constant, it means that sine of i is proportional to sine of r. It will be more evident if we write it as sine of i is equal to constant into sine of r. It means that the graph between sine of I and sine of R must be a straight line and that straight line which passes from the origin. So if you see the different options, option A has a straight line which passes through the origin so it can be the answer. Option B straight line doesn't pass through the origin so this option is eliminated. Option C straight line doesn't pass through the origin. This option is also eliminated. Option D, straight line passes through the origin. So D can also be the answer. Now let's see. The ray is entering from air to the glass. It means that this ratio is equal to the refractive index of the glass. That is sine of i over sine of r is equal to n, refractive index of this class. Now how can we find this n from the graph? It is evident that as the graph is drawn between sine of i on y axis and sine of r on x axis. So if we take the slope of this graph, we'll get the refractive index of the glass. Let us first check option D. If we take its slope, it will be from here, if we see change in y, is it is about 0.7 and we divide, we will divide it with the horizontal distance that will be 1. So it will be 0.7. Now refractive index of any material cannot be less than 1. It is always greater than 1. So D cannot be the right answer. Now let's check A. If we take slope from here, the vertical distance is 1, rise and run is about 0.7. If we divide 1 by 
it is 1.43 which lies in the range of refractive indices for class so option a is the right answer for this question okay the next question is also from may june 2020 paper one variant one and this is question number 27 a swimming pool is lit by an underwater light a ray of light is incident on the water surface what is the correct path for the ray of light this is the ray of light and it is incident on the surface of water now you have to tell what will be the correct path for the ray of light pause this video think upon it and try to answer this question okay so there are two possibilities for this ray of light if angle of incidence is less than critical angle there will be refraction and if angle of incidence is greater than critical angle there will be total internal reflection because the light ray is going from water to air from optically denser medium to optically rarer medium but we are not given any information about the angle of incidence so how we will proceed let's check the possibility one that is the refraction if refraction occurs the ray of light will bend away from the normal so if this is a normal it should bend away from the normal this is its actual path and if refraction occurs it should bend away from the normal it should be in this direction but there is no ray in this direction in case of b the ray b actually moves towards the normal whereas in case of refraction there should be a ray which moves away from the normal means there is no refraction here and there is total internal reflection so in case of total internal reflection the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection so this is the angle of incidence and this will be the angle of reflection so the correct answer for this question is option C okay so this is the question from May June 2020 paper 1 variant 2 and it is a repeated question we have done it in the variant 1 so let's proceed to the next question okay so our next question is from October November 2020 paper 1 variant 1 question number 28 array of flight R is incident on a water to air surface with an angle of incidence theta the angle theta is less than the critical angle C which statement describes the subsequent path of R please pause the video and answer this question okay so the angle theta here is less than the critical angle C so there will be refraction and as it as this ray is moving from water to air from optically denser medium to optically rarer medium it should move away from the normal let's see which options which option is right it travels back into the water no it doesn't travel back into the water because the angle theta is less than the critical angle if angle theta were greater than the critical angle then it would travel back into the water so option a and option b are incorrect options now let's see option c option c says it travels into the air with an angle of refraction greater than theta yes when it moves from water to air it bends away from the normal and when it bends away from the normal it means that the angle of refraction is greater than angle of incidence here you can see that the theta is angle of incidence this is ray and this is normal the angle between ray and the normal is angle of incidence so option C 
is the right answer. Okay, so next question is from October number 20, paper 1, variant 2, question number 24. Which statement about flight passing from air to glass is correct? Passing from air to glass. So please pause the video and answer this question. Okay, so let's check which option is correct. Option A says the frequency of the light waves decreases. Option B is the speed of the light wave decreases, the wavelength of the light waves increases, and option D is the wavelength of the light waves remains unchanged. Okay, remember, the speed of flight is the maximum in vacuum. Speed of flight in air is approximately equal to that in the vacuum, slightly less than 3 into 10 to the power 8. And whenever light passes through any medium, its speed decreases. So when the speed of light decreases, you know that V is equal to F into lambda. Now keep this in your mind, whenever speed changes, the frequency does not change. Frequency of light will remain the same. The speed will decrease. As a result, on the right hand side, wavelength will decrease frequency will remain unchanged so now come to the options frequency of the light wave decreases no frequency will remain unchanged option B the speed of the light waves decreases yes speed of the light wave will decrease when the light will pass from air to glass so option B is the right option but let's check option C and D as well. The wavelength of the light wave increases. No. When the velocity will decrease, the wavelength will also decrease. So option C is incorrect. The wavelength of the light waves remains unchanged. We have seen that this is also wrong because wavelength of the light waves will also decrease. We now we have a question from October, November 2019, paper 1, variant 1, question number 26. The diagram shows a ray of flight in liquid incident on the boundary with air. Two other rays are observed. One is in the liquid and the other is in the air on the boundary. What is the angle of refraction? It is a very easy question. Please pause the video think and answer this question. Okay, see, so you can see here that a ray of light is on the boundary and a weak ray is in the liquid. If you have studied critical angle, it will be evident that the angle of refraction will be 90 degree and you can see that from here as well. This is incident ray and this is refracted ray this ray is the reflected ray which is very weak ray. So this is the refracted ray, this is normal and the angle between refracted ray and the normal is 90 degree. Option D. Next question is from the same paper October number 2019 paper 1 variant 1 question number 27. Light is incident at 90 degree on the surfaces of the two glass prisms P and Q. The critical angle for light traveling from glass into air is 42 degree. Where does total internal reflection occur? Okay, so please pause the video and try to answer this question. Okay, so we have right angled prisms. And when you see right angle prism, your mind should click that we are talking about total internal reflection. If you have studied the theory in detail, you must be aware of the fact that total internal reflection will occur in both cases. In one case, it will be reflected at 90 degree and in other case, it will be reflected by 180 degree. Let's see. This ray will go straight, here it will make 45 degree angle, so it will be reflected. 
this angle will be 45 degree and this will also be 45 degree so as a result the light which enters selected at 90 degree now let's see what happens in glass prism Q this light ray will go straight and will hit this surface this is the normal this will be angle 45 degree which is greater than the critical angle so it will be reflected back and when it will be reflected back it will come here again it will be incident on 45 degree here the normal will be this one this one will be the 45 degree angle of incidence so it will be reflected back at angle of reflection 45 degree and then it will come outside so total internal reflection occurs in both P and Q okay this question is from October November 2019 paper 1 variant 2 question number 25 the diagram shows light passing from glass into air what is the name of angle P? Okay, this is a very easy question. Pause the video and answer this question. So this is incident ray and this is the normal. The angle between incident ray and the normal is the angle of incidence. Very easy question. 